Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first, let me apologize for my voice. I am catching a cold, but the video must go on. So I'm starting with freshly washed hair, and I did use a blow dryer to be honest because I have a cold. I didn't want to sit with my hair too wet for too long, so I did it for like only a minute or two. So first, I'm going to section my hair into two sections, one at the top and one at the bottom. Okay guys, so I'm taking my rubber band to hold my top section away from the bottom half so that I can go ahead and make it all fleeky and sleek. So I'm taking my spray bottle and I'm wetting my hair just a little bit. I don't want it to be wet or your hair will like go back to being like super coily and it will shrink. So I'm taking my Denman brush and I'm just detangling my hair so that it will be smooth when it's time to apply the gel. So I'm taking my favorite eco style, this is the black castor and flux seed oil, I hope I said that right. And I have a video on how I define my hair with this gel, it is like super good. You'll see a link in this video. So I'm taking as much gel as possible because remember guys, you're trying to like make your hair like laid, okay? Especially when we have like short or medium awkward stage length hair. You need as much gel. And I love this Eco Styler compared to a lot of other Eco Stylers because it doesn't flake. I mean, if you use it with the right products, it does not flake. So you're not gonna use like hair, milk, and all that other junk with this style. It's like not necessary. All you need is like a mixture of oil because I use coconut oil and olive oil. Okay, let me stop rumbling. <laughs> So I'm just parting my hair and you guys will see that I struggled with either deciding if I wanted a center part or a side part. Like the struggle was real. This was the hardest decision of my life. As you guys can see, side part won the battle. So I'm just sectioning my hair again into these two mini sections, if you want to call it that. So as you guys can see that I'm sectioning my hair little by little, just to make sure that the gel gets through my hair as much as possible so it lays flat. If I had just done like it like with one pony at just one time, it wouldn't lay as flat. So you'd have to go through your hair section by section, especially when you have really short hair. So I'm just adding this second section in the first lower section that I made. And I'm applying, as I said before, a lot of gel, okay? A lot of gel to lay my hair down. And I'm taking this two side brush. I'm using the harder part, the harder or the hard part to like, Sleek it down. Man, I'm lost for words. I don't know how to explain this. And then I took the Denman brush and smoothed it out. Yeah. Guys, try to use one of these thick um, hair ties instead of elastic band to hold your hair because it causes less tension and it's not as tight. So I'm using my Eco Styler again, going through this little side section. And you can see how flat my hair is, how laid it is, as opposed to if I just did my hair like at once, like to put gel all around my head and like try to catch it in a pony, it would like be all bumpy, I promise you. So take your two side brush and smooth your hair to perfection. Make your little um side swirls or your sideburns or whatever you wanna call it, just like, Lay your hair for the gods, girlfriend. Lay it. And now for my last section, I, of course, detangled my Denman brush, then added my water, then raked the gel. Yes, I raked it like I'm raking leaves. 
right there so that the gel gets through the hair. And then I went ahead after with my brush and smooth it out. So you guys can watch the rest of the video from there to see how I keep everything in check. This next step, I am taking this Organ Oil Cream of Nature Mousse to make my flyaways lay down, okay? I'm molding my hair flyaways, you are not welcomed. And then I'm gonna take my hair tie, of course, to make sure that my hair lays down and it's molded. You can leave your hair tie like overnight if you wish to, or you can leave it for a couple of minutes. I left mine on for like 30 minutes and it dried pretty well. So here it is. It's all sleek and laid and there's no tension because I didn't do it like super tight. So I have this old weave that I have. I did a previous video with this hair. I just dyed it like black and I'm taking my bobby pin and pushing it through my little bun. And as you can see, I'm trying to make sure that it's secured and then I'm going to wrap around, wrap around, add bobby pins here and there. Just make sure that it is like snugged to your bun, but not too tight. Because the less tension you have with this hairstyle, the longer you wear it. Because the last hairstyle that I did with um my, my full bun, it was like too tight and I had to take it down. It was like too much. But yeah, this style, it was like so comfy and it feels secure. So add a few bobby pins, don't add too much, your head will hurt you, I promise you. And as you can see, my little bun is not showing. This is only one bundle of hair. I got three bundles for 40 Canadian dollars, so I'll make sure I'll leave the description, or rather the vendor's name, in my description box below. So yeah, so now I'm just gonna fluff it out with my Denman brush, like make a little nest. Make sure it looks natural as possible. Make it a little frizzy because I don't want it to be too neat. And yeah, that is my little sleek pony for y'all. I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you guys. Thank you for making me reach 1,000 subscribers. Go on, big up on yourself. Bye, guys.